If you told someone a decade ago that you wanted to make millions from your YouTube channel, they'd probably laugh in your face. Fast forward to 2023 and YouTube content creators are some of the richest people going. But before you can start your journey to riches by getting your channel monetized, you've got to hit 4,000 hours watched on your channel. I know that can seem daunting, but with the right strategy, it's a lot easier than you think. Greg Priest here partnering with Social Loop and today, I'm going to show you how you can easily get 4,000 watch hours on YouTube in 2023. Part one, tunnel vision. As a YouTuber, I'm sure that one of your main goals is to attract as many viewers to your channel as possible. After all, more viewers equals more watch time, right? Well, generally, yes, but starting with a smaller specific audience, also known as a niche, can actually help you increase your watch hours and grow your channel even faster. Here are two reasons why. One, niches usually have more engagement. Whether it's a favorite foods, a favorite bag, or the best movie we've seen all year, we can't stop talking about the things we love. Having conversations about the things we enjoy lights us up and gets us energized. Only speaking about a specific topic to a specific audience in your videos shows them that you're the place to come to when they want to see more of the thing they love. Viewers are more likely to watch your video for longer, to like, to comment, to share, and subscribe to your channel if you're creating content that's particularly appealing to them. So if you have a channel on everything keto, like Keto Focus, keto fanatics are much more likely to want to engage with your content and share your videos. Two, niche content has better video retention. Okay, now I know it's easy to think that more viewers equals more watch time. It's generally true, but not always. Let's say you have 1,000 viewers who only spend two minutes watching your video. Those 1,000 viewers will get you 2,000 minutes watched. Okay, now say your niche video only attracts 300 viewers, but those 300 viewers will give you 4,500 watch minutes. That's more than double the 2,000 minutes you would have got from the 1,000 viewers. If you stick to a niche that really resonates with the target audience, that audience is more likely to watch your videos to the end and are even likely to go in search of more of your videos and subscribe to your channel. SB Mowing is a perfect example of this. They have a channel exclusively dedicated to mowing lawns and have over 1 million subscribers. Let's be honest, it's impossible to stop watching a mowing makeover halfway. You have to watch the full video to see the complete transformation. Mowing a lawn may seem boring to some people, but for those who enjoy this kind of content, it's addictive. And your content will be addictive to your viewers too if you just stick to a niche. Side note, the YouTube algorithm also takes note of videos that get high retention and is more likely to increase the visibility that those videos get. Part two, choosing a niche. So at this point, you're probably thinking, how do I choose the right niche? So here are some things to think about that will help you choose the perfect niche for your channel. One, look inwards. Look at your life and the things you love to do. What are you passionate about? Do you love baking? Are you a cleaning freak? Do you like building furniture in your garage? Creating content around something that you're passionate about will not only keep you motivated and consistent, but it would also help you build a more authentic connection with your audience. So that thing you enjoy doing so much that you do it for free, that's probably the thing you should start making videos on. Two, look outwards at what you have to work with. Do you have lots of filming equipment that allows you to create super high quality content? Do you have an editing wizard for a younger brother that is happy to work for payment in pizza? Do you have a job that will let you film your work for content? What you have at your disposal can help you decide which niche would work best for you and your resources. Channels like How Kev Eats focus on one person taste testing takeaway food. For a channel like this, you only need a car, a phone camera, money for the food, and minimal editing. 
On the other end of the scale, there's channels like Just Purdy Things. A channel like this needs sets, crews, cast, and a lot of money and resources. Or you could build a channel like Mountain Rug Cleaning. This channel simply records someone doing their daily job of cleaning rugs. The only cost here is camera and editing, all the cleaning materials and customers were there already. And they probably have a lot more customers now considering they've picked up 1.6 million subscribers since they started. Think about what you have to work with and pick a niche that lets you start where you are in your life now. Part three, moving forward. Okay, so you've picked your niche, you've started making content and you're working your way up towards those 4,000 watch hours. Is there anything else that you should be doing? Absolutely. These two things can really help you boost your channel's growth. One, test and experiment. Use the early days of your channel to test different ways to make content. Maybe you're bored of cooking in the kitchen and you want to take your grill outside for your cooking channel. You might find you have way more views for your barbecue video and you might want to concentrate on that content in the future. Tinker with things as you solidify what your channel is. Also, just because you've started making content in a certain niche doesn't mean that you aren't allowed to pivot. You might find that your food review channel doesn't work for your new health diagnosis. Or you might find that people don't actually enjoy endless videos of someone stitching up socks and torn trousers. If for whatever reason your niche you began with just isn't working for you, you can pick a new niche and be consistent with it. Just don't keep jumping from one niche to another to another over and over again because you'll just cause confusion around what exactly your channel is about and you'll lose subscribers. Two, do competitor research. Once you've entered a niche, research the competition in that niche. Analyze their content, their engagement, their subscriber growth. Seeing what everyone else is doing will help you create a channel that stands out from the crowd and is unique. But you might not want to be 100% different from those other YouTubers because they might be doing some things that are getting their viewers and engagement that you might want to um, adopt. Maybe they ask for advice on what foods they should review next and that gets them a ton of comments. Just like the guys over at Shits and Gigs, they break their videos up into sections where they read out the answers that their social media followers sent in. This helps them attract followers and subscribers from outside of YouTube, which then grow their YouTube channel even faster. So see if your competitors' tactics can work authentically with your channel and just implement them as you go. 4,000 hours can seem really daunting, but with some smart niching, you can be well on your way to begin making money on YouTube. But if you're still trying to decide which niche is best, check out the video on screen where we list the 10 most popular niches that are crushing it on YouTube Shorts today. And remember to subscribe to the Social Loop channel.